Hello guys, how are you? Omar here. Uh, I've been working with Thomas for the past couple of weeks in the Possible Words project and I thought I could make a little super quick tutorial video on how to import and export animations for some reason the workflow between Cinema 4D and Unreal Engine in terms of animations is a bit of a pain in the ass <laughs> and so yeah I was researching and found some little tips and ways to to import and export animations so yeah let's do it now right now so in uh, FBX animations for some reason only work if they're just if the animations are keyframe no other kind of animation can be exported as a FBX and work properly on Unreal Engine I don't know why but I found some some ways to export animations like the former animations, MoGrev animations and that's what I'm going to show you in order to export any other kind of animation that's not keyframed you have several ways, various ways but the main thing is that you need to bake your, anim your animation your animation has to be baked and I don't want to make this like too long so yeah let's say we have a f we add a formula to this little low poly hand in here and um, I want to yeah this this will work right now and uh, just let's say I want to export this animation into Unreal Engine you will not be able to do it as an FBX file but the thing I found is that uh, okay, there are two. You have you'll have to bake your animation. So yeah, there are two ways to bake your animation properly. One is this right now. You have your animation. It's here. A formula. It's a simple formula. And the thing you want to do is the first option, the first way to bake an animation. It's you go to tax I'll try to translate everything because here's all in Spanish so I'll try to translate it in English uh, so yeah you go to tax and character tax and you just find the one that's point cache point cache you just add that tag to your to your model and then you go here, down here, and it says, well, it says estado de almacenamiento, but in English it should be like storage state, some kind of, I don't know. You go here, you go here, and you click it. Then you make sure your, <clears throat> then you make sure your keyframes, your animation is at zero, and then you just click calculate here this button and it calculates it and yeah your animation is baked you you'll need to erase this you have to erase the formula and yeah your animation is already baked in so yeah this way of baking animations in Cinema 4D works really really nice with single objects, single meshes and the only thing you have to do is just export it make sure you select your mesh, your model and go here, Alembic I'm gonna save it like, I don't know, pan tutorial ah, tutorial now, to tutorial, uh, yeah, okay so yeah, in here, you if you have more objects in, in here in your panel, 
you need to make sure you click just like selection only otherwise it's gonna export everything you have in your in your panel so yeah selection only make sure your uh, your frames are the ones that you need and you want your UV maps, your normal maps and polygon selection and pretty much I don't touch anything more so now you we go to Unreal Engine and well let's just drag drag your object, your file into project and here okay here make sure your the input type is skeletal. It needs to be skeletal, otherwise it won't work. It needs, it needs to be skeletal. So yeah. <laughs> um, here merge mes meshes. It's when you have a lot of objects, you can just merge every mesh, and it will it will function as a, oh shit. Okay, sorry for the <laughs> glitchy thing. It will just merge everything and it's for compression purposes. Um, yeah, make sure it's skeletal. Skeletal. The input type is skeletal, and that's the most important thing. Sorry for the super glitchy things here. That's what Unreal Engine does to my computer. So yeah, you click import. It takes a little while. Now you have it in here, and just make sure you drag this this one the ones that the one that sets animation that's the only one you need you have to drag so yeah let's just put this in here and you'll see and okay just wait oh, shit. yeah okay well yeah that's fine uh yeah now you'll see the animation is there. Now, <clears throat> the other way to bake animations is this one. You go to animation, well that's the way I found it, you go to the animation layout and then you make sure your group is selected or your mesh, your object is selected then you go to functions and bake object it says bake object in Spanish here so yeah you just put bake object and I just select everything in here and yeah let's go back here to see what's going on ah uh, uh, yeah it makes a copy of this now let's see if you have this in here everything's fine if you erase the formula it will work. You have, again, you have your baked animation in here. Everything is good, it's just one file, and so we'll just do the same thing. We'll just export it again, same. So, yeah, uh, on to, to, to tour, yeah, enter, that's uh, great. Ah, fuck. Okay, making a mess in here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so make sure select only, UVs, everything is good, yep. And now, no, and, <laughs> sorry, um, I'm, not, I'm not much of a tutorial guy, so, yeah. Then, yeah, you know, just import, yeah, let's import it in here. Make sure it's in a skeletal, skeletal type, and import it. This uh, this way of baking, this last way, uh, works better for when you have multiple meshes, multiple objects. You can just select them all and bake them all at once. And they will work. Uh, and if they don't work, you can just complain to me, because I just gave you <laughs> a wrong wrong tutorial. So yeah, let's watch it. Uh, but first of all, I will rotate it because somehow exporting files to Unreal Engine rotates. I don't know why. 
the model rotates but yeah just just watch it and it works and the formula animation is there the movement is there yeah it's not that hard so yeah I hope it helped guys and let's just keep making cool stuff and work and oh yeah sorry for my horrible English pronunciation it's just sorry <laughs> I think that's it uh, so see you guys bye Ciao, au revoir.